Hello everyone. After a week of trading, uh, after I presented to you one of my trading, trading plans based on the Euro-British Pound currency pair, the time has come for me to make a recap. In this video, we're going to check how the plan developed, uh, if we had any opportunities to enter and uh, we'll discuss a little bit uh, the trades I took. And of course, as usual, we will make some future predictions uh, for the price movement. So, let's get started. First, starting off with the plan development, what you currently see on your screens is the plan itself I posted on TradingView. Uh, I just want to say a couple of words here. Uh, first of all, here uh, the, pr the pair reached a strong weekly uh, resistance area, which is also at top of the range. And as you can see, uh, those two uh, blue lines define this bottom, uh, the price made here. And uh, my expectations were for a new wave down from here all the way to this intraday level one, which was around the middle of the range. And uh, we had an int intraday level two, which was our more long-term target. And of course, at the bottom, we had this huge weekly support area which was the bottom of the range. So, first thing first, this is the H4 chart. Uh, and what we expected here was a bounce from uh, this bottom and a new wave down to this intraday level one. Let's see what happened. As we can see, uh, the bounce was a fact here. Uh, we had a nice move down here. On this day, we had some news. Uh, which uh, at first pushed the price down, uh, touched the intraday level one, and from there uh, we saw a huge, huge uh, explosion and even a break so far of the uh, weekly range and the weekly resistance area. So, did we have any trades on that pair? Of course we did. I shared with you one. Uh, which actually gave uh, very good results, although I didn't uh, bring in the profit, so uh, I was in total at zero from this trade, nor a loss, not a win of course, uh, but you could have easily made some money out of it. Uh, let's check the trade itself. Again, this is the H4 chart, live, and uh, our entry was, as you can see, placed at the end of this candle, uh, which engulfed the previous bullish candle, exactly at this uh, bottom here, uh, from where I expected a new wave down. The stop loss was placed above this ta huge tail the price made, so the chances were very slim for the price to explode up but then go back down, just touching our stop loss. And as you can see, I have defined two uh, take profit levels. Uh, the first one was the take profit safe level, which was uh, at the bottom of this consolidation, which uh, the price formed here in the past. Uh, just to be safe, I was expecting for the price to reach that take profit level, but I was not 100% sure it will easily break uh, here and reach the intraday level. That's why I presented this take profit level safe. Um, if you uh, took it, you were in the money. Now here, after reaching the take profit safe level, uh, you can see the explosion down, which uh, reached to the intraday level one, but didn't touch my take profit risky level by around 3.3 pips. Unfortunately, uh, we were not lucky here. Uh, I placed my stop loss at break even when the price was down here. So, uh, although I didn't uh, make profit because the take profit risky level was not hit, uh, I didn't lose anything. Uh, you could have closed manually when the price reached this take intraday level one. So. That's even more profits if you did so. Uh, now for some future developments after this huge explosion from here, the only thing I can expect from this pair is a correction. Now this correction 
is highly likely to enter inside of this weekly uh, resistance area and if we check out a little bit back so I would consider this here as a level for the correction to end now this is between 08968 and 08960 so you can try and sell here although I don't recommend it because first of all it's summer and markets tend to be quite unpredictable and at the same time you'll be going against the trend uh, also after a break of a weekly resistance area so it's not the perfect spot but if you see a good sign on the lower time frames you can try and squeeze out some uh, profits here between 0 0.90 to 0 0.896870 that's all from me uh, we had some other trades uh, for which we will make uh, of course a trade analysis videos which will be separate from this one uh, they had no plans published based on uh, for them but they were profitable so I finished the week with 33 pips profit even though here we hit the zero thank you all for your attention and I wish you a profitable end of the week and most importantly a great summer